Okay, so hey everyone, welcome to another Plan With Me Reading Bullet Journal spread. So this is for the month of December, and for this month I ended up deciding to go with kind of a Frozen theme. I still haven't seen Frozen in theaters. Wow, that was T'Challa. He's complaining that I haven't seen Frozen in theaters too. And I am really desperate to see it, so I just kind of wanted to theme this around that. I wanted it to be wintry and Christmassy, but not overly Christmassy, so there's a lot of snow and snowflakes. And these are snowballs, which is how I ended up doing my Days Red spread, and I really, really like it, but I just realized that I actually wrote Books Red instead of Days Red, so that's embarrassing. But you know, mistakes happen. <laughs> Now, I did end up deciding to pull out my brand new iPad and trying something on Procreate because I really wanted to make it more Frozen themed and I just knew that I wasn't going to be able to do this perfectly just on my own so I decided to kind of trace it over. This is just Elsa's castle from the first movie and I traced it within a circle and I ended up printing this out and just kind of coloring it in. But I have been working on my calligraphy so this is my own. Even throughout this spread, you're going to see that for the most part I'm actually doing, or trying to do, real calligraphy with brush pens, so yeah, it's a process honestly. And I actually really like how this ended up turning out, so all I'm going to do is cut it out and then just kind of color it in. The coloring in process I just did with the Zebra Mild Liners for the most part, and it wasn't specific or anything. I didn't even really look at the original picture to see if I was doing it correctly. I just kind of wanted a general impression of it. I don't exactly love how it turned out, but the end result is actually pretty nice, so at least there's that. And here I'm just using some of my Tombow brush pens to get a little bit of a different effect for the background. It was supposed to be a little bit more of a sunset, and it was pretty hard to achieve, don't worry, it looks like a mess, but the end isn't bad. And here we're doing just my staple books read and pages read spread. Again, this is kind of where I'm trying to practice my actual calligraphy, so it's not perfect, and honestly these ones are pretty boring. I do kind of go back and try and play around with it, so just wait until the flip through to see the final result. But until then it just looks pretty plain, which is unfortunate, because these are my most useful spreads but my least aesthetic. Now I do end up going for a metallic gel pen for the lines in my pages red spread and I really wish I'd done this for books red as well. I just think it definitely adds some dimension to it. Isn't this so satisfying to see how fast that happens? It takes so much time. And then I just kind of fill in some of the blocks and just try and make it a little bit more wintry. I think the green didn't end up being as wintry as I wanted it to be. This is sort of that point where I realized that this was actually a pretty boring spread and I decided to add some little pine trees and I do think that it ties it together a little better. And here we're just doing my TBR haul and quotes page. Again, this one is always the one that ends up being my favorite. It just has so much room to grow because it's so simple. And I do end up saving that spot in the bottom left corner of the haul part for a little doodle that we're going to do later. And I absolutely loved how the doodle came out, so I hope you guys do too. But I mostly just started to really play around with snowflakes in this area. I do feel like the quotes though didn't end up fitting the rest of the theme, it just looks quite different. I do kind of mess around with it more towards the end and make it look a little bit more aesthetic and I like it better at that point, but until then it looks like this.
At this point, I really started to uh, kind of think that simple was going to be better for this type of spread, and this is how my video tracking ended up looking for the weeks, and I do love it. I just think it's so clean and different, and I do just enjoy overall how it turned out. And now for my bookstagram spread. So we're going strong with my third month of making the weeks, the moon phases of the week. I did try and do it a little differently this time, that way the moons were a little bit more even, and you're gonna see that it actually made the doodling process quite simple. I also changed up my key so that I was no longer filling in the moon entirely in a color, and instead I'm actually just changing the number depending on the day and whether I post or not. So yeah, I do love how this turned out. I just like knowing when the moon is going to be full and not. <laughs> And now for the doodle that I kind of hyped you guys up on, and it's Olaf! So I did just find a favorite picture of him and tried to copy it as best as I could into my bullet journal, and I just traced him right here, and then I went ahead and colored him in, and I wrote the iconic quote, Hi, I'm Olaf, and I like warm hugs. So he's just very cute. He very much ties together the Frozen theme of this month's bullet journal spread. And now just for the final flip through. I did want to mention that I did leave this page next to Bookstagram blank. I do want to eventually do some sort of doodle that also ties to the theme. Maybe I'll film it in one of my vlogs, and then I did leave space for readathons. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.